In front of me is a Xiaomi Poco F2 Pro and today I will show you how to go through the setup process of the device. So when you boot it up for the first time you will be presented with the screen right here that you can see. So let's stop on the arrow, choose our language which I'm gonna select English, and tap again on the arrow, then choose your region. Now this will allow you to set a time zone on top of it. Uh, if you keep it as it is, uh, most of the time it's correct, if it's not you can change it or just completely ignore it and later on you only have to change the time to be correct if the time zone was incorrect. So let's tap on an arrow then connect to network, this step is completely optional. If you don't have Wi-Fi in your area that you can connect to, we can completely skip it by tapping right here. Then you have terms and conditions which you well need to agree. Now if you want to know what you're agreeing to you can always uh, read that user agreement right here. Um, so there we go, boom, read it all, cool. Let's select it here that I have read it carefully. And then tap on narrow. And then you have a SIM card. So again, you can skip this. <coughs> and in this case, it really doesn't change anything. Uh, the moment you insert a SIM card, the device will basically recognize it and it will automatically start working. So you can completely disregard this and just insert the card later at any uh, convenient time. Then you have Google services, so you have uh, services like date localization, scanning and send user diagnostic data. Um, so each one of them is well, self-explanatory, but if you're not sure, you can always read the entirety of it, what it does. But basically, uh, localization helps the device know uh, where it is positioned in the world, so things like maps uh, will work correctly, so we can get a uh, correct route to your destination. Then scanning is just an annoying uh, crap that basically uh, scans where you are and sometimes gives you those uh, annoying questions. How did you like, uh, for instance, McDonald's that you have been uh, and went to eat yesterday? So you can disable both of those if you don't want it. Uh, in terms of localization or location, it will uh, things that require it will basically prompt you to enable it back on, otherwise they won't work. Um, and then at the bottom you also have the sent user and diagnostic data. So basically the device gathers data on what you're doing to a quotation mark improve the uh, usability of your device. Um, so again you can disable that too and then just at the bottom tap on accept. Then you can set a password, so just a way to protect your device. Now you have two different ways you can do it, you have either fingerprint or screen lock. Um, now if you choose to uh, add a fingerprint, you also need to set up a screen lock, but if you choose uh, screen lock only, uh, you don't actually need to add a fingerprint. You just need to have a physical way of inputting um, an unlock uh, pattern or something like that, or pin that you can use, for instance, uh, if you lose your finger, uh, otherwise you wouldn't be able to get to your device. Um, so again, you can step this, uh, skip this at the bottom. Um, I'm gonna set up a pattern right here and for some reason it gives you a message to remember your code of uh, to unlock your device like we don't know to remember our passwords um, it's secure for a reason right so again uh, input your pattern pin password whatever it is twice and then it gets confirmed and then you have some additional settings so in a way it's just the same settings we just disagreed to uh, almost all so you have location which was disabled user experiment uh, experience programs again that was the uh, that wasn't there actually but let's just disable that uh, send diagnostic data automatically yeah no uh, automatic system updates um, this is just it doesn't really matter what you choose here the device is annoying enough that it will update on itself if you choose to not update it the moment it knows that it has an update it will basically ask you oh do you want to update now you have a choice of updating later and later is usually during night where you cannot set it anywhere further so it will just automatically update overnight and then a personal haste adds and now this is basically a way for the device to know what the what you're searching for and then giving you ads based on your search history so yeah no thanks uh, yes i don't want this and from here we can then tap on next choose our team so you have two different ones, you have the classic one and the limitless. The only difference is the wallpaper and the icon shapes. 
So I'll choose whichever one suits you more. And setup complete. So let's up on the arrow again. It's loading some apps. And once it's finished doing something that it could have done during the setup, uh, we should be done in the home screen. And there we go. So that is how you would go through the setup process of the device. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.